Welcome to Oceanic Plus, the world's first dive computer app for your Apple Watch Ultra. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to set up the app before you start your first dive. The first thing you need to do to set up an account is to download Oceanic Plus from the Apple Store. You can download the app either from your iPhone or your Apple Watch Ultra. Once you've downloaded the app, open the app on your iPhone and sign up for an Oceanic Plus account. After accepting the licensing agreement and privacy policy, you will then be able to sign up for a free account with your Apple ID. You are now greeted with a welcome screen. Tap onboarding and follow the subsequent three steps. First, create a profile with your name, picture, and emergency contact. Make sure you hit save at the top of the screen before moving on. Next, add your dive experience. Choose the date of your last dive and input the number of dives you've logged. Then choose your certification level. You can also input your diving certification number and take a picture of your certification card. Complete onboarding by making sure you hit save at the top of the screen. The last step is to allow the Oceanic Plus app to access your devices for GPS and sensor information. If you completed your onboarding correctly, you will see your account with your profile picture along with your subscription type, emergency contact info, and dive experience. Congratulations, you now have access to the free version of Oceanic Plus. In the free version, you have access to many of the same features of the paid version for tracking depth underwater and your snorkeling adventures. To access the scuba diving functions of the app, you will need to activate a subscription plan. A great way to try it is to use the one day trial plan before you commit to a monthly or annual plan. Family Share Subscription Plan is available with an annual subscription as well and is recommended for scuba diving families. Before starting to dive, you'll want to check and customize the dive settings to your liking. You can change these settings on your watch or on your iPhone. Let's start on your Apple Watch Ultra. Open the Oceanic Plus app on the main menu, scroll down and tap on the settings option. Units of measurement can be changed by tapping on the general settings tab and scrolling through each option. Next, let's have a look at how you can change your dive settings and customize your alarms. Depending on what type of dives you regularly do, you can change your preferred dive type auto launch defaults to when entering the water. You have the option of choosing scuba diving or snorkeling. Each dive mode has its own settings, which can be changed here. Starting with your scuba dive settings, you can change your conservatism levels. Please note the default setting is on zero, which is the least conservative setting. Pressing algorithm factors allows you to modify your conservatism. If you prefer, changing to plus one or plus two will change the algorithm to be more conservative. You also have the ability to further customize the gradient factors. We recommend not adjusting gradient factors unless you've received proper training. The next setting is for adjusting your PPO2. PPO2 stands for the partial pressure of oxygen, which is affected by your current depth or atmospheric pressure. The maximum PPO2 allowed in dive mode is 1.4. If you prefer to lower your maximum PPO2 exposure for the device, you can select that setting here. Otherwise, the default setting is 1.4. Now let's look at the next series of scuba settings, gas. This is where you can switch from diving air to diving nitrox. To learn more about nitrox settings, please watch the advanced gas settings and decompression tutorial. Finally, let's take a look at customizing your alarm settings. Your watch can warn you of a violation with both a visual indicator and haptic alerts. You have the option to toggle these notifications here for target dive time, target depth, low no decompression time, and low water temperature. An important note here is that target depth is a different alert from when you're reaching the maximum operational depth of the Apple Watch Ultra, which is 40 meters. Now that you've customized your preferred dive settings, let's plan your first dive. Let's see how to do this on the Apple Watch Ultra. Just remember that you can go through the same process on your iPhone. On the main menu, choose the dive planner card. First, input how long from now your next dive will be. You can also change your gas from air to nitrox. For this demonstration, we're choosing air for the gas type. Now you can change your target depth with the plus or minus icons. As you change your target depth, your no decompression time will change accordingly. It's important to note both your Apple Watch Ultra and your iPhone can plan your dive. 
but the iPhone app also has a location planner. Here you can select your dive site on a map and you'll be able to see weather forecast, tide conditions, water temperature, UV exposure, and more, all up to three days ahead of time. Now that you've installed the app, created your account, and personalized your settings, you can move on to the next tutorial called During Dive. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can get additional information by watching other tutorials or going to our FAQ page at www.oceanicworldwide.com forward slash Oceanic Plus. Enjoy every day, every dive with Oceanic and Oceanic Plus.